Not gonna lie, I feel like Valentine's Day is a little underrated. I know it's traditionally celebrated around love and couples, but I feel like we should be making a bigger deal regardless of our relationship status. Since there's not much going on at this time of year, I decided I wanted to take the week to romanticize and celebrate Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Good morning, you guys. Happy Valentine's Day week. This week, I'm gonna be wearing as much pink as I can. I'm really gonna step into my Valentine's Day era. Anyways, I'm going to the gym this morning. It's currently around six o'clock, and I feel really, really good this morning. I don't really feel too tired. I feel like sometimes when I oversleep, I wake up so so mentally groggy and so tired yesterday i slept for like 12 hours not even kidding you because if i don't set an alarm my body can just keep sleeping and sleeping and sleeping i will never want to wake up and i woke up after 12 hours of sleep but i felt so tired like my head was kind of hurting i don't know if i actually needed more sleep or what but i'm like what the heck like i should not feel tired after sleeping for 12 hours so i feel like today i really found my perfect medium with sleeping hours you know i think i slept for like eight hours last night maybe just over so that felt really good and i don't feel tired and i think i also woke up at a really good point in my sleep too i know if you wake up when you're like in deep rem sleep then you're gonna feel really groggy so maybe that's what happened to me yesterday but that's why i want to get like an aura ring or something because i know that that tracks your sleep and then wakes you up i'm pretty sure when it's like the best timing or something like that but i definitely want to get something that tracks that because that would be really cool <gasps> but i'm still yawning obviously anyways let's get ready for the gym happy valentine's day week yeah, that's so exciting <laughs> guys i'm just about to leave i i just can't believe it's february already i feel like i was just at the beginning of january but also christmas like thinking about christmas does feel kind of long ago i don't know i already know this year is going to absolutely fly by so i'm really trying to be super present in every single day and just soak up every single moment and if you're going through a hard time in your life right now you're not feeling so great just know that it's going to pass and it's going to be over before you know it the bad times are why there's good times you can't have your highest high without feeling your lowest low that's just how life works and ebb and flow and literally just the flow of life so it's just crazy to think like how fast time goes by and if you're not doing so well you're gonna be healed very 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 soon whether that's physically mentally emotionally i'm always trying to wish away the present i'm always like oh i can't wait for summer and like thinking about that right now but it's like no i can't just be like waiting for summer right now i have to be living in the present and that's why i really wanted to like make a big thing out of valentine's day because that's what's happening in the present moment not summer you know and I just have a tendency of doing that, of just wishing things in the future and getting too excited for them and then focusing all my attention on that and not even realizing the amazing things going on in the present. So I want to just be more mindful about that, especially because like I was just saying, time flies by. So that's something that I really have to work on. But anyways, I'm literally all pink today. Even got out my pink Lululemon water bottle, my pink nails. I'm getting my Valentine's Day nails done this week. I'm so excited, but I do still already have like pink nails. I got that on purpose, but okay. Let's head to the gym. Do a leg workout, baby. <laughs> Change 
So I just finished up at the gym and I'm at the grocery store right now because I have to get like groceries for the week. I just have no idea what I'm doing for dinner this week yet. I was supposed to figure that out when I was at the gym, but I completely forgot. So I'm going to kind of brainstorm in my car right now and see what we should have for dinner this week so I can buy groceries for it. But I'm trying to think like, is there a Valentine's Day cutie dinner that I can do? And the only thing I can think of is making like heart shaped pizzas or something. So if I come across some gluten free pizza dough, I will definitely buy that and then we can make some pizza because that would be so cute to do for Valentine's Day week. I also have some like quinoa gluten-free pasta that I bought at Costco a week or two ago and I've been wanting to try it so maybe I can make like a pasta dish as well this week. But anyways, I always like to write down and brainstorm what I'm going to buy at the grocery store and make a list before I go in because otherwise I will take five hours in there just like frolicking and like looking at the aisles and just standing there. So to cut down the time and to make my life easier, I'm going to just write down a grocery list right now. I always have like an ongoing one but i mean like for dinners and stuff so i'm gonna take a minute scroll on pinterest get some food inspiration for valentine's day but we're trying to stay on theme here guys for the week i also really want to get a valentine's day mug but i haven't been able to find one I'm gonna show you guys a grocery haul in a second, but I couldn't pass up these Valentine's Day colored vitamin waters. I got one dragon fruit and then this one is strawberry kiwi, but how cute. I've never tried this dragon fruit flavor, so I'm excited, but I just had to get it because it was giving me the Valentine's Day aesthetic. Here's the mini grocery haul. So I got some green onion, avocado, some organic tomatoes for pasta that I'm gonna make and also for the pizza sauce. And then I got some rice vinegar, some bananas because I've been obsessed with making banana bread. Some baby carrots, these are just so good to snack on with some hummus. And I really like this brand of hummus because it has no inflammatory oils in it. There's just extra virgin olive oil. I'm so excited about this because I got some tart cherry juice. If you guys haven't seen on TikTok, this stuff has been going viral for the sleepy girl mom cocktail we're gonna try it in this video sometime this week and i'm gonna show you guys how to make it it's like a cute valentine's day drink because it's nice and red so it's on theme for this video but i've been actually wanting to try this for so long now so i decided to pick it up today and then i just got some sparkling water as per usual because you guys know i've been obsessed recently got some coconut sugar got some chocolate chips some raspberries some cheese and this is so out of pocket for me because i usually do not buy dairy but we're having a little exception this week because we're gonna make heart shaped pizza so i had to buy cheese and then i got some pepperonis for the pizza and then a whole bunch of apples because i really want to try to make an apple crumble soon so that's the vibe that's a little grocery haul whenever i come home from the grocery store i lay out my groceries and i'm like how the heck did this cost me 120 dollars the prices of groceries are actually insane but it's okay we're not going to focus on that because we're manifesting money queens but anyways i just have to call that out I just made myself a little cold brew and I'm about to shower but before I do I need to tell you about a life-changing all-natural supplement that I have been taking for the past a little bit over a month now and it has truly changed my life so beam is actually sponsoring today's video beams natural beauty supplement is combined with 11 different unique ingredients that can completely transform your skin so let me show you first of all a before and after photo of when I first started taking this and now i'm done the just over a month cycle on it i have struggled with dry patches and eczema this whole past year now i try to hide it from the camera because i get really self-conscious so the first thing along the long list of things that it does is helps lock in moisture for increased skin hydration this is perfect for me because i suffer with severe dryness and eczema especially during these winter months so this also protects your collagen and it also boosts the production of it this contains the same amount of beta 
carotene that four large carrots has so it kind of makes you look like you have a natural tan and you could see noticeable results within four to six weeks of consistent use one of the ingredients that it's made with is biotin and biotin really helps improve the skin's hydration smoothness and appearance another ingredient in here is pomegranate juice powder and this is packed with antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties which can aid the skin's renewal process so when taking this week one is like the evaluation week take some photos look at the mirror kind of soak in what it feels and looks like before starting week two is the adjusting period so you might experience a little bit of purging i definitely did but that is basically a really good sign because it means that everything from within is coming out to the surface and on week three you're going to be seeing improvement and week four is the regulation period so your skin should be pretty much adjusted to this you could compare it to your before photos and you'll keep seeing great results with time and consistency so natural beauty comes in a 30 day supply which is 60 capsules because you take two a day they're also non-gmo vegan and also third-party tested so if you guys want to shop them and see just as much of a transformation as i did like this is my holy grail i don't think i'll ever stop taking this you can use my code michaela also the just the direct link in my description box and receive 10 percent off your order but yeah thank you so much to beam for sponsoring this video you guys know i'm very very sticky on the products that i put in my body because i want to be as healthy as i can be that's why i love them because every single ingredient in here is natural and good for you obsessed like completely <laughs> Madison and her baking. <laughs> How many is that? 12? A dozen? Or is that more? Uh, this is uh, 16. Everybody go subscribe. She's a baker. Wait, wait, wait. I think this was like, all the way down there. So let's just get out there and then we'll come back to this side. Costco is always so chaotic. It's 9 a.m. right now or 9.30 or almost 10 actually. And it's so busy. Like where are these people coming from? Hey guys, so me and Madison just got to the nail salon and we're gonna get our Valentine's Day nails. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this since I got these nails on. And we're gonna get the same thing. Do you wanna show them a photo? Oof. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna stay with my almond shape though and get them like basically the same shape but get that Last year or two years ago I basically got the same like that exact thing but I had a pink base with the red hearts Those are like one of my favorite nails I've ever gotten ever so I wanted to do kind of the same thing But I wanted to switch it up a bit so the white base is gonna be perfect because it's still like very much the same But just different color so I'm really excited and I already know we're gonna love them Okay my nails are like so wear but they're kind of like fat because they were short everybody keeps telling me to do almond but we're going to a different nail salon and they're better at shaping so i think i have more faith in them to shape them better we went to a new nail salon like when we got these done and they did not last me like i don't know if you could tell on camera but they are like well how would you call this like patching they're patching yeah we weren't really like necessarily happy with the results i mean they were like good if you like squint your eyes and hold them at a distance yeah but like my nail polish is literally getting wrecked like it's ruined but it's like if i'm paying for something i want yeah. it to be proper you know what i mean anyways we're gonna go pick up a coffee before there's also a chapters here so i don't think we should go before yeah okay. we don't want to be rushed in there so we're just gonna pick up a coffee go get our nails done and then there's an indigo slash chapters we're gonna browse just for like 10 minutes i can never not be near chapters and not go inside so anyways that's a plan i'm thinking a cold brew right now so definitely getting a nice chai
Are you telling me this? <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. Why are they different? Oh look, there's a hardcover. How cute oh, is that? I love that? One of my all-time favorite books, and look at how cute. This is like giving Valentine's Day. I told her she needs to start reading Not a big reader. with Colleen Hoover. And I get, I literally gave you my book. Yeah, you did. And I told her to read Verity, and I told her to read It Ends With Us. And she has the balls to say, have you read Verity? And I literally gave you the book. I don't read. I I you what? You what? There's no excuse. No, like I don't the problem. Excuse. I'm just not a big reader. No, the problem so, with you is you read. Didn't you say you got eight pages in and I, then you just went on your phone? Well, no, that's not what happened. I started reading it when I worked at the golf course and I worked in the gazebo until when I didn't have any customers. I'd read it and then I'd get interrupted for five seconds. So then I was like, case I'm not gonna do that. And then I never got back to reading it. Okay, this is what you do. This is what I'm doing so before bed you know how you scroll 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 yeah. give yourself like start with 15 minutes so before bed say okay if i'm gonna go to bed at 9 30 at 9 15 put down your phone for the night take the book and be like okay for 15 minutes i'm gonna read and sometimes you're even like oh my gosh i want to do this for longer tomorrow night because i love this book like you want to know yeah. what happens and then it becomes a habit you just yeah. need to start with like t even 10 minutes before you go to bed, just put down your phone and start reading. Yeah. Just for 10 minutes even. And then that'll build up. Eventually, this is what happened to me. I got into bed and I didn't even want to scroll on my phone. Yeah. I was like, I want to read. And literally one night the book was so good I couldn't even go to bed because I had to finish it. it. Like it's it gets addicting. But you just we'll have to find out. You just have to we'll start find it. Out. You just have to start it. I mean if it could happen to me. You gave me a book of three and they were colorful, but I'm trying to see which one. Oh, that was the Summer I Turned Pretty book. Oh, we already watched the I show. Because I gave you those books like two years ago before the show literally came out. Like, Ooh. you're done. Like, you're done. I forgot I even gave those to you. Oopsies. And the movie's coming out for this book, so maybe I'll watch the movie first. No. no. <laughs> You need to read the book first. Oh my god, if you read the book first, then we can go see it together and then you can like, because it's not as satisfying if you just go to see the movie without without reading the book. So you need to read the book. I want Atomic Habits. Me and Connor are starting 75 Heart, where I actually are, and but I, I want to read Atomic Habits. I'm reading that. that right now. Because it can't be a non-fiction book. It has to be a, like for 75 Heart, you have to read yeah, a book. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has to be a like self-improvement. Yeah. That's good for you guys. Yeah. But you're going to really like Atomic Habits. Yeah, but did you just get it on Amazon? I got it on my iPad. If I'm reading though, it's gonna be on a, it's gonna be on the book. I'm not very on that. Yeah, it's cheap. Since you're already reading those ten pages a day, I would recommend like self-help books in the morning. Yeah. And then reading like fiction at night because it's kind of like a show. Yeah. It's not that satisfying reading self-help books at night because it's just like you want something that's like chill. Yeah. Like you don't really want to be learning before you go to bed. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Please, if you're gonna start Atomic Habits, you have to start this okay, book because the movie's I coming will. out. I will. Okay, good. But well, I don't believe you, so we'll see. Everybody in the comments, Rude. tell Madison she needs to start. Oh, reading. this is Verity. Oh, this is the hardcover. I like come into a, a like Indigo or Chapters, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm like, oh, look at all these books. It makes me want to buy a book. I wish I, I wish I was the type of person that was addicted to books and always wanted to buy a new one. Girl, you know it takes you. You know it takes like you actually starting to read and then you could actually become. Yeah, that. I guess so. Be the person you want to become. So I know if you want to like, become a reader. It's on the top of my list. So knock it, knock it down until I accomplish the other things first. What are the other things? No, this is okay. Guys. We found a topic. Oh, it's right here, Madison. Thirty-six. So twenty-five percent off at thirty-six dollars. That's like only that's thirty dollars. But you can buy it on Amazon for like twenty. On Amazon, it's literally twenty dollars. Wirebird shell is twenty-eight normal price. Really? That's I don't know why books on Amazon are so much cheaper than buying them in store. You'd think that they'd be like they the most. Whip you. But they, you think that like this is a big store, like it'd be most discounted. I in think they're like soft, but back better than hard. I, don't know. I feel like I would destroy for some reason a hardcover more than I would a soft cover. Yeah, we're starting on the 15th. That's actually really exciting. We make our own diet. When we're like eating stuff on Saturday, it's gonna be have to be healthy treats. Well, actually, yeah. that's fine. It could be healthy treats. Because like I'm still on my, I'm not doing any sugary drinks. Okay. But I'm lying to myself that like, kombucha because it's not like yeah. the top, you know. Okay. But that's my only excuse. Okay. So like we eat very unhealthy. We don't. <laughs> I need to get my hormones in check, guys. Part of me wants to be a book girl and like have a library but part of me doesn't you can have literally one tiny little shelf with like not even 10 books on it i know but 
I kind of like reading on my iPad because it's always lit up Is for me. Is there French books in here? Why do you want French books? But for kids more, yeah. I don't know. Oh, like oh. I, no, no, thank no, you. You're totally good. Yeah, let's go oh, over so there cute. and see them. You guys know I love getting my eggs from Costco and then I also have been getting their butter recently because they have this New Zealand grass-fed butter. Joel eats butter like no other, so got two blocks, two packets of eggs, and then had to stick up on some toilet paper. <laughs> All right, you guys, I just cooked this pasta and let me show you the box actually. These are the noodles that I used and there's 23 grams of protein in a serving, which is so good. And these are actually better than like wheat noodles. Let's see what's in them actually. They're organic too. Organic chickpea flour, organic yellow lentil flour and organic red lentil flour. So they're very lentily, which is actually really good for you and can give you a lot of vitamins and stuff and protein. So this is a win. I'm so excited to eat. I just finished dinner and I'm about to head to bed soon. I've been trying to get to bed a little bit earlier this week because I've been implementing reading for longer. So I want to like make that a good, good, good habit in 2024. And it just like feels so good being in bed super early so that you have like unlimited relaxation time. I just hate getting into bed and being all rushed and then having to fall asleep. I like easing into bed, getting to just like chill, scroll on my phone for a bit, then put my phone away, then start reading. It's just a better transition. I don't know. It's just like I need my rest time at night so i'm gonna head to bed now i like doing skincare and all but like sometimes i get so lazy to wash my face and stuff and i just wish i didn't have to do it i wish there was a button that you could press or snap your fingers and you could just be ready for bed like in your pajamas face cleansed that would be so nice and also i don't know what's going on with me recently but i go to the gym on tuesdays and thursdays and then i do a workout class wednesdays and fridays and i don't know what is with me lately but i just have not been as into the gym as i am my workout classes and so sometimes it's, I find it really hard not to dread the gym because I'm supposed to go to the gym tomorrow But I'm trying to talk myself out of it subconsciously, but I'm like no just go get yourself there There do the workout and you'll feel so much better because I never regret going sometimes I just really lack motivation for the gym I find workout classes just so much easier to get motivated by because you just show up and it's like music playing You got your people there with you and it's just it's just there on the silver platter here you go. But going to the gym, it's like, okay, you're at the gym now. You actually have to figure things out, you know? Yeah, anyways, I was trying to talk myself out of it subconsciously about going tomorrow, but I'm like, no. This is 2024 here we're talking about. It's one thing if I was genuinely feeling sick or like I genuinely needed a lot of rest, but this is literally me just trying to talk myself out of it because I'm being lazy. So no, we can't do that, you guys. If you ever feel this way too, just know that this is how the laziness creeps in. And then the more you give into it, the more or you'll fall out of your routine and then you'll never go back to the gym you'll never go back to working out it is really important to follow your body and listen to it and maybe miss a workout when you're really not feeling it but it's like I'm literally just being lazy and I know that it's like why am I trying to talk myself out of it like just just do it you know sometimes it's like that and I just wanted to be transparent with you because I know I always show my workouts and stuff and how I make it look so easy but sometimes it's not that easy for me and it's actually a mental battle in my head because like everything in life it's up and down ebb and flow motivation is not always there but it's the discipline that's getting me through because I made a goal to myself and I made a promise to myself and you know that is self love keeping your promises to yourself when I make a promise to like a friend I feel feel like I need to keep that promise more than a promise I make to myself and it's like it should be the other way around like your promises to yourself should be just as important as making promises to your loved ones or friends or it should be even more important and take priority so it's like I feel like you could probably relate to it's like making those promises to yourself doesn't feel like you have to keep them because it's just you you know but no like set your standards high for yourself I wouldn't be bailing on a friend so I shouldn't bail on myself you know so that is true self-love tough love but it's 
it's love. I know if I didn't go work out, like I'd be mad at myself for it. And I'd be like, why did you do that? Like you just talk yourself out of it because you're being lazy, you know, for no reason. But anyways, this is your motivation to be disciplined with yourself, obviously within reason and to show yourself some love, like keep your promises to yourself. And then you actually start trusting yourself. And that actually spills out into different things in your life too. And like the seasons of life where I'm showing up for myself and I trust myself and keeping my promises is when things are the most amazing because I'm confident in myself. That like makes me confident. So anyways, okay, I'm gonna head to bed. I'm gonna get my makeup off, wash my face. My hair is so greasy, but probably gonna wash it actually maybe tomorrow morning after the gym. Good night, you guys. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. I will see you at the gym. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I just got ready for the gym and I'm just about to leave. I slept in a little bit this morning because I was so tired because last night I was having the weirdest dreams literally ever. They were kind of, you know, those dreams that aren't necessarily like scary horror dreams, but they're more so just very unsettling. Those were the dreams that I was having last night and it was just one after the other. And then I'd wake up and then remember it and start thinking about it. And I was like, what the heck is this cycle? Like it was so weird. And sometimes I go through phases where that it just happens to me where I just get these really weird dreams and then it's really hard to sleep because usually I'm a really good sleeper and I just sleep right through the night but last night I kept waking up at least like a couple times and just really weird unsettling dreams and I just wasn't having it so in the morning I was just a little extra tired so I slept in about an hour which is okay just until 6 30 because I usually wake up at around 5 30 so definitely need this ice rolling today but yeah we're going to the gym guys we're gonna do it this morning and then after the gym I have a bunch of little errands that I want to run so we're gonna do that but first we got to get our workout in so I'm just kind of procrastinating I just rolling my face because it feels so good couple little cute Valentine's Day errands today so <gasps> let's get going oh my gosh I forgot about my nails <laughs> I just got to the grocery store and I'm about to go in because I need to get gluten-free pizza dough for the pizzas because when I was grocery shopping earlier this week I didn't find gluten-free pizza dough so I've seen it at Superstore so I'm gonna go in and grab that and then I think I need like maybe one more thing I need to check my list um, but that's the first errand that we're gonna run because I want to make those pizzas tonight but yeah I am so happy I went to the gym like I feel amazing now I feel on top of the world I kept that promise to myself I just had to do it that is it like it was just one simple step of doing it and now I feel amazing like it's only 9 30 done at the gym now I can do my errands and move on for the day you know what I mean it's just like such a good way to start my day I'm glad I pushed myself anyways okay let's do some shopping <laughs> I just stopped at the Nespresso on the way home as well. I want to show you guys get it when I go there. So I get four packs and I get their Bianco Doppio. And then I also get their Double Espresso Dolce. So I got two of each and this lasts me so long. Then I just got some Zevias, some ginger ales, some gluten-free pizza crust mix, and then just some gluten-free flour because I'm running out. And you guys, I was in the mall and came across these dishes and I think that they're just so beautiful. I couldn't pass them up. Like, are you kidding me? Look at these bowls. I love them. I love this aesthetic and they only had one small plate left. So I only got one, but I kind of want to go back sometime this week to see if they restock. And I got this beautiful dish towel to match, but I'm so obsessed with this aesthetic. Welcome to the segment of the video where we are going to make heart-shaped pizzas for Valentine's Day. I put on my pink little sweatsuit, so we're on theme. I bought this gluten-free Bob's Red Mill pizza crust today, like you guys saw. It says that I need to add warm water, eggs, olive oil, and then mix it all together, leave it sit for 20 minutes while it rises, and then do the pizza. So it seems pretty easy. I'm gonna just warm up some water and then get the ingredients mixed together. But I'm so excited. I've always wanted to do this every single Valentine's Day, like make cute heart shaped pizzas, and I've never done it before. And this year I was like, I'm taking initiative in doing this because it's such a cute little thing, even to do with friends, with your partner, with anybody. It's just fun. Like when do you ever make heart shaped pizzas? Or even just for yourself for a really cute moment. I definitely don't believe in myself for making this from scratch, especially because this is gluten free. But feel free to experiment in your chef era if you want to make it from the dough from scratch, or you can even buy like pre-made dough and then just shape it yourself. But this was the only gluten free one that I could find, so. 
it's perfect and it's gonna work. Let's get making some heart shaped pizzas. I'm excited. Actually, wait, this might only make one big one or maybe two little medium ones. I don't know. <laughs> Are you ready to make Valentine's Day pizzas? It's not Valentine's Day. Well, it's close to it. It's February. Well, it's a whole week away. Well, that's the point. Get in the spirit. Is the spirit good? Yeah. It's called the Valentine's Day spirit. Yeah. Also, you haven't even asked me to be your Valentine yet. So. It's not even Valentine's so, Day. See about that. You're supposed to ask that on Valentine's Day. No. You want me to ask you a week in advance? No, the day before. I mean, yeah, at least. I'm expecting a care of gift basket. I have a different Valentine. Okay, so I'm gonna divide this dough into two. So let me get a little cutta. So divide it into two. Pass me the spatula. What we need to do is put it on. Actually, we should get it on. We should probably line this with parchment paper first. Ow! <laughs> Before we roll it, we need to put some plastic on it or parchment paper because it's gonna sit, it's gonna sit for the roll with him. It's supposed to go like this. Are you sure it sticks? Yeah. This has to do the construction. Yeah. Remember making a heart shape. We just have to make the crust with your hands. Okay, what is that? I followed the instructions. Okay, don't. Yeah, keep going. Maybe you just flatten it with your hand. <clears throat> Maybe plastic would have been better. No. Like plain hand? You've got to mold this by hand, I feel like. This is crazy. Let me use this back so you focus on yours. Do you think I need more flour? I put more flour in this bit. I don't know. Yeah. This doesn't even look like it's gonna make a pizza. I'm gonna put more flour into it and then. Oh, how, how am I gonna get this off? Uh, scrape it. Here, I'm gonna put more flour into it. We're coming to the Yeah, this is already so much better putting more flour into it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the flour is doing good. So how do I do that? It's did exactly what the instructions said. That's a good Oh my god. It's <laughs> just sticking in my fingers. <laughs> Whoa, we have to experiment. <laughs> yeah, it's making pizza. Like, what the heck? I followed the instructions. Exactly. I think this might stick to the thing. The parchment? Mm. Like, I don't even know if this is gonna cook. It doesn't feel like a cookable cloth. <laughs> <laughs> just too close to my bedtime to mess around with it. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're gonna try this again here and just bits and not bits. Duck. Actually, I'm gonna shape this with my freaking hands. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah, this is very shapeable. Oh my god, that was my first attempt. Oh, but it wouldn't have worked because you're just so doughy. Can you sprinkle some more flour in here? Like, why isn't this working? It's because you need gluten in for a while. <laughs> no, but like, this should work. Like, I bought the package for a reason, you know? What package? It's like a gluten free recipe package. This came in a box? Yeah. You think I made this handmade? It came in a box. I asked you if you made it handmade. He said, yeah. Oh, it is handmade. <laughs> definitely made with my hand. <laughs> oh my god, it didn't even come off. Scrape it off. <laughs> like Vaseline. <laughs> A literal mess, like what is this? What the heck? I think we should just attempt to bake this one. It's looking a little rough, but I think we could do it. Put it after the douse it in flour. Give me a regular flour? Yeah. Maybe I'll put some regular on mine. Wait, we might not. I don't know. It's kind of working. Look, we're doing it. Yeah. Making the crust. I think I might actually douse mine in flour. Look, I kind of did it. I did something. I think it's because you had more flour. Yeah, well, this is good enough. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I'm gonna make more. Okay, guys, I'm putting her in the oven. Wait, just in the. What about the ingredients? Her, cheese no, and stuff. But this needs to cook for seven minutes before we put the toppings. <laughs> You've been tricking me this all night, have you? <laughs> did you mix the flour in, or yeah, you I did. It's a little crumbly. Perfectly mixed. Here, you can roll it, but put the paper on it. It works. No, I don't want to. It works. It works. You doing it hard, right? Perfect Italian. <laughs> it's Italian. This is not authentic Italian. No, it is. But I need to wash this off.
Come on, go, go, go. It's about drive. It's about hours. Oh, okay. We stay home all week. Put in the work, put in the hours, and take what's ours. Okay, it's perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Let me smooth that out of bed. It needs to be a little smooth. There you go. That's good. Okay, it's ready. All right, guys. Pizza number two. Let's hope this works. Okay guys, pizza didn't turn out as bad, but it's like really thick, so I'm really scared to eat it, honestly. It's so thick. So, but mine, Anyways, mine is flake. It's, <laughs> it's like can you pass me the spoon? Um, we got some organic tomatoes that we're just gonna use as tomato sauce over here. Look at those flakes. Ew. Oh, that's a good piece. That's prime. Putting some Italian seasoning on the sauce. So it's just like the pizza I had in Italy. Oh yeah, just like it. I literally missed that pizza so much. That was like the epitome of my existence. One pepperoni is one top of the cheese. I'm gonna do both. Double layer. You're gonna double it? I'm not gonna do it. I forget what it tastes like. How come yours is so much smaller than mine? So thick. I made a mistake. Okay, I made it way too thick. Okay, my pizza is done. This cheese doesn't feel real. It's not for sure. Put some Italian seasoning on yours. Yeah. Mine doesn't really have a class. <laughs> it's like an infinity pool. <laughs> <laughs> you never know the edges. That's how you make no crust pizza. Oh god, this is turning out a lot different than I had expected. But you know what? Life's a journey. Life is a journey. It's all about the experience, not the destination. That is a lot of <laughs> Was that not how much you put? No, I put it at the bottom. Oh, this yeah. is just too good. Like, what is that? Anyways, this is mine. We'll see how she looks after the oven, but she is one thick pizza. <laughs> but she looks cute, so that's what matters, right? Okay, let's put them in the oven. I think they're gonna be good, though. Really? Yeah. Okay, come here. I don't have a glove. Oh, okay. Yeah, four. Okay guys, here are how the pizzas turned out. I think they're kind of cute, but I'm really scared because I made mine so thick and I don't know if it's gonna even be eatable, but we'll we'll see. Joel's is actually way better than it I expected. Fire. It looks good. Oh, who's is better? Vote down in the comments below. <laughs> I think okay, I think the shape of mine is better. But Which one would you rather eat? Uh, That's the question. Okay, mine looks aesthetically better because of the crust and like it, it looks good. Does it though? But I think yours is gonna taste better because it's not gonna be like my dough is so thick. I think mine might look better too. I don't know. Vote down below. Mine or Joel's? Let's have a little contest. Anyways, okay, we're gonna cut this up and we'll do a little taste test for you guys. Oh. Joel, not gonna lie, yours looks really good. Okay, there's your pieces here. You guys, look at the cute pink plates that I have for us. Oh my god, my dough is so thick. This is not good. This is not looking too hot for me. But I'll let you have my pizza. We'll try it. We'll try it. <laughs> All right, taste test. Oh, it's so hot. Be careful, don't burn your tongue. Really good. The crust is shit. Really? I was so hopeful. Mine's already thick. I bit into it as like a cookie. No. Just try it. Just try it. Oh. It's not fun. Ah. No. Just take it. <laughs> it'll, it'll put something in my stomach. It's not the worst thing ever tasted. I'm not going to starve. It's pretty good. It's okay. It's a solid, mine's a solid three. Yours is probably like better. Like a six. I, I would honestly rate it out of ten. A three. Oh, I Friday. I'm so excited. That is Friday. I'm looking forward to this weekend. I have a fusion Pilates class today at Oxygen Yoga and Fitness, which I'm so excited for. By the way, if you guys want to get a free class at Oxygen Yoga and Fitness, I have a code with them. And if you go to my Instagram highlights in the health category, I like told you guys how to book and everything with my code if you guys don't know how to use it. But go get yourself a free class at Oxygen Yoga and Fitness because I love the classes so much. This week has gone by so so much faster than any other week like literally in my life i don't understand how it's already friday it feels like like usually the week feels like it went by pretty fast but this week is actually insane it feels like we actually teleported here like
like I'm not even kidding. I don't know what happened this week or why the time went by so fast. It's actually insane. I also ordered and bought an iMac. I'm really excited for that to come in. It was supposed to come in yesterday, but now it got delayed till today. So better come in today because I'm so looking forward to unboxing and opening that. It's gonna go into my office transformation video, but I will show you guys like once it's up. But I'm so excited for that to come in. It literally better come in today because I was so disappointed about it not coming in yesterday. <laughs> Today's a good day. I'm gonna do my morning routine. I'm running a little late today because I'm just, I just, snooze my alarm so i'm gonna start doing my morning routine get ready for the workout class and then head out <gasps> we got this good morning i'll talk to you guys later About to show you how to make the sleepy girl mocktail this is all the ingredients that i'm going to be using so i'm going to show you guys right now so since it's friday i'm starting to relax a little bit early so that's why i want to make it out i just like i'm really craving a drink i'm actually going to be using collagen powder in it i would be using magnesium because that's what's supposed to go in the drink but i just don't have any right now so i need to order some so if you guys want the actual real sleepy girl mocktail use magnesium powder i will link one down below for you guys because magnesium is supposed to help you sleep and stuff so i would definitely get that so i just started off with my glass here and i put a couple frozen strawberries just to make it look cute and they also add a really good flavor so i'm gonna add in my collagen powder if you guys use magnesium you want to make sure to get a certain kind of it because one of the magnesiums is like used for a laxative so you definitely don't want to get that kind so i'll have the one that you're supposed to get linked down below okay so now i'm gonna open the tart cherry juice this is 100 percent organic just literally tart cherry juice Oh my gosh, it's hard to open. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball the ratio here. That looks about right. Now you just wanna take kind of like a flavored, sweet, carbonated water drink. So I'm gonna take the ginger ale Zevia. I've seen people use poppies or just something that has some sort of sweetness to it that's carbonated. You can actually use real ginger ale too. It doesn't really matter. Just anything that is gonna go well with this tart cherry juice and then add it in. Oh my god, that's, oh my, it's overflowing a little bit. This looks so pretty, are you kidding me? I have this little mini straw, I'm gonna mix things up around here. Cheers, let's give it a try. Mm, that is like really good. Oh my goodness, I'm actually obsessed. 10 out of 10, recommend making this. Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna have this every single day now. I'm pretty sure cherries also have a lot of health benefits, so that is amazing, and this drink is just so good. Okay guys, I'm going to enjoy my little cocktail or mocktail. I've been really thinking of Valentine's Day this week. Yes, it's about couples. Yes, it's about love, but 
that also includes love within yourself. And so I realized that I've never written down or never thought of reasons why I love myself. And I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but it's like when I think of any other person, I'm like, yes, this is why I love them. But when I think of myself, I haven't really thought of anything. And I've never really sat down and had this discussion with myself and thought of things. So a really nice thing for yourself to do this Valentine's Day would be to write down a list of reasons why you love yourself. Keep it in a place where you can always read it if you're ever feeling down, if you need it. And I feel like it's just such a cute idea. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Write a little love letter to myself and just write things that I love about myself down. I feel like we're always prioritizing other people before us. It's like, I'm thinking of what to get Joel for Valentine's Day, but it's like, what about myself? Like, this is a holiday about love and I love myself, so. Anyways, let's write a few things on why we love ourselves and I'm gonna keep this paper forever and make sure to read it if I ever need to. my goodness you guys here is the computer i am already so obsessed with it just like sitting here and using it for a while it made me feel so much more productive and so much better about working this is so motivating i cannot wait to add everything on it that i need to add and start editing on it next week i already started editing this video on my laptop so i'm not going to be editing this week's video on it but next week i will and i'm just so excited it's such a cute aesthetic like oh my goodness i am just in love with it and this is going to motivate me to work so much more i got the 2023 i believe with the m3 chip imac this is in the color silver i got 500 gigabytes of storage and i up Upgraded the RAM to 16 because I wanted to future-proof this computer as much as possible But I am just in love with it. I'm so excited about it And I'm so excited to like finish this office and it's so inspiring you guys obsessed with this computer is an understatement I'm so happy It's just like so important to switch things in your environment to help you stay motivated and stuff And this is just the change that I needed because I have been editing off of this laptop for the past four years And like that is okay. Not saying I need to get a new one like I didn't need it but it was definitely a very much wanted upgrade because this is a bigger screen it's a desktop it'll make me feel like i'm more professional because i have just lacked that and i just can't wait to sit down here and have a place to work instead of always feeling like i can bring my workstation with me everywhere i am gonna keep this laptop because obviously it's really nice having a laptop as well especially for like traveling or that one-off time if i want to go work at a cafe or something i can always bring this with me so i'm gonna keep this but i was running her into the ground because I have had her for four years and I've been working her hard and I've noticed she slowed down a little bit So I was like, okay I'm actually gonna burn and fry this computer if I don't lay off the usage, you know So now I'm just gonna use her for probably just watching YouTube videos and just light stuff And then my Mac here is going to do all the editing and I'm just so excited But yeah, she did her time. She'll still be used just not as frequently But I still have to actually edit this video on there. So one last time. I just got these blue light glasses off of Amazon and I will link them down below. I actually really like them. I always reach for a pair of blue light glasses because I'm staring at my computer screen all day. So I feel like it's really important to protect my eyes. I actually do have real prescription too. Like I need to wear glasses. I have astigmatism. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I do have real glasses, but I don't need them for like close up. So if I wear my glasses when I'm looking at my computer screen, it doesn't make a difference if they're prescription or not. I can see it perfectly fine. It's just like things in the far distance and when it's raining and dark at night i can't really drive without my glasses so my day-to-day -day, i don't wear contacts or anything like my prescription isn't horrible but if i wanted to enhance my life a little bit i totally could wear my glasses or wear contacts but i just choose not to because i don't know it doesn't i don't feel like i'm straining my eyes at all like it's not horrible i just have astigmatism and that's it yeah sometimes i'll look at something and like i'll think it's a certain shape and then it's not and it just it, it's really weird and these are really good quality and i think they were like 30 dollars maybe $25 but I'll have them linked and I really really like them but in 2024 we are stepping into our boss bitch era you guys I have something really really excited planned aside from the podcast this year that I'm starting and I'm not gonna say too much about it right now but I'm gonna tease a little bit that I do have something coming and this is what I needed in my life like this is what I needed I just have been feeling really really aligned especially this week and the amount of angel numbers i've been seeing is actually crazy and i'm just so excited for what the future has to come and i just feel really aligned once again and i feel really really good whenever i feel out of alignment i know it's the universe
universe telling me like it's kind of just pushing me in another direction and so once i figure out what that is i start to feel super aligned again and then i see the angel numbers and then the universe is like yes you're on the right path so it's really interesting how that works because i always go through periods where it's like i don't feel super aligned i feel a little bit off and it's because i'm not in alignment with my true purpose so the universe is kind of nudging me and pushing me towards that direction to figure it out anyways i'm just really excited for this year and all the good energy that it's going to bring i just have so many ideas and oh i'm just i'm just so excited but anyways i'm gonna end off this video here i hope you guys enjoyed let me know down below in the comments what you guys want to see from me i hope you liked the length of this vlog i tried to make it super long for you guys because the long vlogs are back so i'm really excited about that don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe because i looked at my analytics and a lot of you guys who consistently watch my videos are not subscribed so what like what are you doing why aren't you subscribed like don't you want to get notified when i post also go follow me on instagram instagram go follow me on tiktok if you're not what are you doing again get your shit together i'm kidding i actually love you guys so much regardless but if you were to do that i would love you just a little bit more so anyways okay i'm gonna go i love you guys so much and i can't wait to see you in my next video which will be very soon and i hope you have an amazing week ahead